Select on the menu option, scroll up to maintenance and select. Scroll down to the 3D IC sensor, select that. And we're going to scroll down to the energy saving options. A couple of options on here. No occupancy, energy saving, room occupancy, energy saving and the no occupancy auto off option. We select the no occupancy energy saving option and we're going to select on heating and cooling. What the unit will do now as it does its sweeps of the room with the infrared camera it's looking for occupancy. If it doesn't see an occupant for an hour rather than the unit being off it'll put it to a two degrees offset. When it does recognize somebody in the room it goes back to the actual room temperature. If we're happy with that option Select that and go back to the main menu. If we select on to room occupancy energy saving, select on there, again specify I want heating or cooling or off. If we put the heating and cooling, what the unit will now do, if the room sees less than 30% occupancy in the room when it does a sweep, it will drop the, the offset temperature by one degree. As the occupancy increases, it will bring it back to the actual set temperature. So this is good for examples such as bars and restaurants where the occupancy does change quite a lot. Happy other option, tick it. Come back into the main menu. Last option there, no occupancy, auto off. Select this option. And what the unit will do now, will, the unit will switch off after 60 minutes or whatever time we set it for, where there's no occupancy in the room. This is not looking for movement in the room, this is looking for a heat signature in the room. So it works slightly different to what the PIR sensor does. When you're happy with your time, select that and come back out. With this option, the unit will switch off, but it will not come back on. You will need to manually switch the unit back on. This option suits applications such as meeting rooms. Come back into the main menu. Seasonal airflow is a default setting, so if we wish to remove all the other settings, go into seasonal airflow. Again, we specify heat cool off. So we put this to heating and cooling, this will overwrite the other settings and put it to a default. Where it now starts looking at the best way of doing heating and cooling based on the readings it's getting back from the 3D IC sensor. Come back out and back out to the main menu.